Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. I'm pleased to have a great guest on today's show, former Georgia offensive lineman and current SEC network analyst Matt Stinchcomb. Well, Matt, welcome to the show. Great to have you. Thanks for having me. I've, I've never done this before, so uh, this is a, a new adventure for me. <laughs> well, we're glad that you're testing it out with us. And <laughs> before, before we chat a little bit about LSU, uh, tell us about your involvement in this year's AFCA Good Works team, a prestigious honor that four SEC players got this year. Yeah, you know, this one, it might be the most meaningful honor that a college football player can get in that it recognizes who they are as a person and what kind of character that they have and the impact that they're having on people around them, not just their teammates, uh, not just their progress towards a degree, um, but their communities and the people on their campus and their hometowns. Uh, and so I get to be a part of that selection process and see uh, all the great things that the kids that play this great sport are doing um, and they far outshadow a, a lot of the the negative aspects that we hear uh, from off the field uh, in and around college football and it's a it's a great process to get to be a part of right it sounds like a very 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 great honor for the for the players selected now uh, to the Tigers uh, things looked a little bleak for LSU when they got destroyed by Mississippi State and Auburn but on a three game win streak now big upset over Ole Miss what's their biggest asset that you think might be able to propel them to continue winning well, there's a couple of things. I think they've been able to be what they what they thought their identity was going to be offensively. It's not that big of a departure from what we've seen from LSU in the past. Uh, but because of improved offensive line play, and I think because of uh, greater experience at the running back position for Leonard Fournette, uh, they're, it's going to allow them to be a ground-based offense. There's no big revelatory statement there for LSU fans or anyone that's seen LSU operate offensively the past couple of years. Uh, but the other piece of it is that the defense was able to step up and step up in a big way, uh, especially last week, you know, enduring some turnovers and missed field goal uh, and still keeping LSU in that football game so that they could stay with what they do offensively and not feel as if they uh, need to depart from it, air it out a little bit more, something that they haven't done a great job of uh, consistently anyway all season. Um, and Kendall Beckwith at the linebacking position, uh, he's, been a, he's been a lot of fun to watch the past couple of weeks. Most definitely. Their offensive and defensive lines really came to life the most uh, that, that we've seen really all season uh, against Ole Miss. So that was good for the Tigers to, to do. And their next foe, Alabama, is number six in the college football playoff ranks. And we'll discuss that on Friday. Matt, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much. All right, great. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching Talking Tigers. Have a great day.